Sup, yo. Found something new about my phone. Anyways, my new lawnmower, about a 20 bucks. I got it working. Should have filmed it, but I was only working on it here and there, so I didn't want to mess around with all that. Uh, anyways, um, maybe y'all know what the heck's going on with it. But uh, I got I uh, got it moving because uh, the, uh, the, where the rod goes into the rear end. Uh, here, maybe I can get down there a little closer. If I blend it, sorry. Anyways, right there, this thing, and it goes over here to the rear end where you set the gears. Anyways. It wobbles and it don't it didn't like going into gear maybe y'all know how to at least tighten it up and make it go into gear real easy instead of sitting there having to play with it and get it to work um, and my uh, deck belt I had to disconnect it because when I get it started it won't be moving and then I just bump it you know I could just do that and then the blades will kick on and it's not in the things are like that and that's how they're supposed to be when to be off well at least that one there the one on this side is supposed to be like that and uh what else did i do to it oh I aired a tire over on the other side and this one. Well, I think I aired them all up the first day. The one over on the other side there. It's supposed to be, well, it's supposed to hold air, but it don't. It's the same as these little things. I don't know if I could get it. I don't know if any of y'all can see that. Let's see. Can I even see what size they are? 13 5.00-6 HHS <coughs> Anyhow I might change the tires that's on my red one which my red one is a yard machine this one's a yardman 6 speed really I'm not a big fan and that's the engine anyways uh, maybe y'all somebody will know what's going on with it uh, I think the uh, I think the gas is getting through the carburetor I don't want to pull it off if I don't have to I'm one of I've been running it to make it work and then when I did get it to move when I did get it to move the uh, belts are squilling uh, I'm only guessing on the rear end I'm not sure if it's anyone else but I think it might be that one because there was one pulley when uh, you hold the clutch in it spins real nice but as soon as you release it, it locks up. It didn't want to move. And I got it to move in today. I kind of forced it to move. And then after I forced it to move, it started moving. Well, it started moving anyways. And, uh, oh, and the safety switch right there, I disconnected it. Because, <laughs> well, I can't work on it if I have to hold the seat down. Cause it, or if I have to have it up, cause I got the battery right here. How I was jumping it, this one here. I sold my Jeep. If you haven't noticed, it's not here. Uh, anyways, um, okay, I said about the battery. May, oh, and mate, well, no, I got, I know how to do that. Well, there's got a bunch of stuff right there. Maybe it could tell me how to 
what kind of oil to use. The person I got it from, they use really cheap stuff in it. I usually like using what the thing says to use. Like a non-detergent, like a, my red one, it says non-detergent uh, oil. It's uh, the synthetic 30 is what the other one uses. I'm guessing that's what this one uses. I'm just not sure. Uh, well, it runs decent anyways. It runs pretty good. But maybe y'all know something what's going on with the 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 deck because like I said if I bump it it starts up and it's not even started or the thing ain't engaged and I ain't sure what the heck is going on with it I may have if my yard machine deck will fit on this one I probably switch it out Or I try to keep it original and try to turn around and sell it for more money than what I bought it for so I can buy another one. Or I could take that motor there and put it on my yard machine. My red one. But I'll have to take parts that I uh, put on this one off the red one. Parts that I got off the red one and put on this one. Uh, I'd have to take back off and put it back on there, but that one there I can I can almost work on it like I do a Murray Murray's it a few minutes. I get them things running <laughs> This one shouldn't be well If I if it wasn't raining and so damn cold out I probably would have got it going the day. I got it, but uh, It was pretty late when I got got it but I did put the battery that I had in the Murray in this one. And uh, it did turn over until it ran dead. <laughs> then I needed to jump it. I used the Jeep to jump it when I first got it. Uh, when my wife got back in the next day. Uh, I jumped it. It started. But I couldn't get it in gear, and then I was sitting here with my nephew, and we, well, I figured out what's going on with it. I just had him help me push the clutch in and whatnot, use his ass to uh, weigh the seat down. <laughs> but maybe y'all know something, what's going on with the thing. It just, I can't figure out what's, why the deck is turning on, and the brakes look good on the, uh, the, blades there's usually little brakes that grab a hold of the pulley make it stop after you disengage it because it makes the line go slack and it's loose when i had it hooked up let's see let's see if i can get it on here one-handed come on now See, it's nice and loose. I mean, it it's really loose. And I don't know why, unless this pulley's tight. Nope, she's loose. Uh, see, the belt's loose as goose. I'm... Maybe that rod messed up on it. Looks like somebody's welded the brake thing back together. I may have to drop the deck. Right here, it looks like they welded it back on. Let me drop the deck. Yeah. See, it looks like they welded it back on. But pulley, it's loose. It shouldn't make it go tight. Let's see, get my hand adjusted. That cable is loose. That's what engages it. 
because that's what pulls the this thing here back like that see that's right there is where it should be if it was going to engage because it makes the belt somewhat tight but when it's out like this it shouldn't start up at all Yeah, the brakes are good. You may need to adjust them. No, you can't adjust them. Yeah. Try to block the sun because, I, like I said, I figured out a new thing about my phone. Yeah, I can adjust those. Maybe. No, I think I have to pop them off. Maybe flip them over. If that'll work. Oh, and that belt right there was halfway off. That's the drive belt. I uh, had to take this pulley down a little bit to where I can get that back on there. Anyways, if anybody knows a way to make it stop squealing and not engage, they guys to hook up uh, hook me up with that knowledge <laughs> well I could watch YouTube but well the YouTube that I do watch and it was telling me how to do YouTube uh, they said you got to interact with the people that watch you so that's what I'm doing so like I said if anybody knows how to make that not turn on and uh with that uh it i hate my brain it doesn't want to work anyways if anybody knows how to get the deck to not engage when it's not engaged anyways uh just let me know and this here if I can tighten this up to make this thing tighten. See? And it's not moving the shifter, which is right there. You might be able to. It's right here when my finger's touching. You see that Carter key right there? That's how you engage it. Right there. Anyways, you see? Let's see if I can move it. It it barely moves. And it should turn. It should move a little more than that. But after it gets to a certain point, it just don't want to move. And it may not go into gear all the ways while it's squealing. Don't know. And it looks like I... I don't know. That same thing is the same. Never mind. But yeah, if anybody knows, oh yeah, I can show you the pulley. This pulley right here. Can y'all see that? Yeah, you're probably already hollering at me. Yeah, I see it. This pulley right here. See, now it's spinning. And it wasn't yesterday or the other day when I was messing with it. It's spinning now. Actually, yeah, that could be why it's squilling because it's greasier in hell. I guess somebody was greasing them. Anyways, if anybody knows, please let me know. No one. That's a weird carburetor uh, filter. I haven't seen one like that. I've seen them where you just lay them on there. I've seen the ones where you drop down. Uh. Well, that's about it. There's just a flat piece that you just lay it down because it's at an angle. And then the ones that are like a, I don't know, skinny on one end. And it kind of gets wider. Them's the ones I'm used to seeing. Not like this. <laughs> it's a weird one. Oh, and my housing that covers it is broken. So I had to cover this up to keep the 
water out of it. I use that mat right there. I flip it over because that way I can lay on that side whether it's wet or not. I put it on the top of it. When I lay it down, I just throw it right over the top, put the gas over under the front end, and go from there. <clears throat> yeah. See? But when I... Oh yeah, that's tight. See, that's engaged. Now it should spin. See, now it's tight. I have no idea what's going on with it. And then, oh yeah, that's some things about to pop back out. And this is how you put it on the brakes. I gotta get a new Carter key, which I do over on that little battery over there that was in it. That one right there. I got a Carter key laying around by it. I can drop it through there and be done with it. Damn, son. Anyways, if anybody can figure it out, let me know. I know I said it a thousand times, but this thing's already got me mad. <laughs> and it's not hard to work on. I didn't really do much of anything. I just put that pulley or that belt back, the dry belt back on. Tinkered with the thing down there. What else did I do? Oh, put a battery in it. Aired up tires and jumped it. That's all I did to it. Oh, no, it ain't neither. You can't. Well, you might be able to see it. Right there. Right there where my finger. No, can't see. It. Right there where my finger is. I had to put that back on. It wasn't on either. I had to put a Carter key up up on top of it and that was one that I took off the red one uh, what else yeah oh I took this off right here because this is right above that pulley this is that pulley that didn't want to turn I took this off and it was a free spinning pulley there's no wires run to it and nothing you know to make it stay tight and then put it back on there and well it still didn't want to move and then until today I just reached in it with both hands and just forced it to turn and now it moves so maybe just needed force to be moved but it squeals when I drive it though and the gears it doesn't matter what gear I'm in it seems like the highest it'll go is like second gear even though the pedal moves all the way back like it's supposed to when you're in a high gear, it just wasn't moving. And it was squealing like a pig. Oh, and I do have to tighten that stuff up in there. Let me get closer. Can you see all that stuff moving in there? Maybe. Yeah, there we go. See how it's moving? We got the nut on the far side, the one in the middle, and the other. All three of them bolts right there have to be tightened. And then I'm pretty much done with it. Look how skinny them tires are. That's some tiny little things. Let's see if I can get my hand down there. Really tiny. If that give you guys some type of scale. Um, that's a half a Mount Dew can. Here's vice grips. You can see about how size it is. Really tiny. And these ain't very big ones either. These are the Craftsman ones. There's digits on there if you can see them. Anyways, like I said... Don't know what the heck's going on with it. If anybody knows, let me know. I'm going to get off of here. I don't think I can stretch it out any further. Uh, oh, yeah, and I'm about out of wood, too. <laughs> That's another thing i got to deal with. Let's get some wood. 
Well, let me know what y'all think about this. I got a Yardman six speed with the power ball or bull or whatever the heck that thing says. Bolt. And whatever. Anyhow, um, and it's a Briggs and Stratton. Yep, I think I told you about everything I've done to it besides put gas in it. At first, I had two stro uh, uh, the two stroke gas, whatever I guess you can call it, for like weed eaters and chainsaws and shit. I poured it in first because at, at that moment, that's all I had. Maybe that helped the damn thing. It'll help the motor anyways. I was told it was run, it would run, but I had to play with it to get it running. I had to do see. I poured gas on the uh, the filter so it can turn over or where to fire. Uh, there's a bunch of crap in the gas tank, and I think it was in this. I think I need to get a new one. I need to get a shut off valve because I think gas is getting through here into the oil because it tastes like oil. Or gas and yes I'm weird I tell you I taste it so if it tastes burn or something yeah yeah smells like gas too oh and have you ever seen something like this it's got a damn string on it that way you can just drop it down here and they ain't going to lose it. It's weird. And if you know where this is supposed to, a uh, hose that is supposed to go to, if you all know, let me know. And this thing here, I'm not sure where it goes or where the hose goes to. And I got to get a new one of these. Hopefully that red one will have the same size one. That's just for like the oil pressure or something like that. Or I have no idea. Anyways, I'm going to sign off of here so I can go back inside. I need a drink. Well, anyways, if you like this, like, comment, subscribe. If you're new, please con uh, subscribe. You'll see a bunch of weird stuff. You see a whole hillbilly work on stuff. And just do sporadic things just whenever I feel like it. Or okay, not when I feel like it, more or less when I can do it. My legs don't really work, so when I when I can I do stuff like this. Uh so yeah, if you like this, like, comment, subscribe. Uh if you want you can turn on your notifications. I forgot about that. Um, anyways, I guess until the next time, stay weird.